Hopefully I'm streaming now? Am I, YouTube? Talk to me here. Claims I am. It's supposed to be connected to YouTube. Am I on Twitch? Better not be on Twitch. I'm not on Twitch. Okay. I need this to catch up in order to be able to put the link in Patreon. Please stand by. I, I theoretically am streaming to nobody right now. But if somebody can see me, I, I apologize. Super weird. Seems like it should be working. go that's more like it good lord whoo sorry for that start okay now we can pass this over oh my god that icon's still on there that is bad news okay i'll fix that later it right there. Copy the video in info here. Can we get the description? Yeah. There we go. start here. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube stream. It's okay. I'll make up for it. We'll still go for three hours. This won't count. I don't want to schedule it. I want it to go out right now. Remove. Don't schedule. Publish now. 
There we go. That's more like it. And then, for good measure... Okay, I think we live now. Are we good? I think we're good. How, how close to on time was I? Five minutes. Five minutes isn't bad. That's okay. I've done worse. Okay, I don't trust any of the information I see on the YouTube screen. Okay. We live, we're live, we're living. Did it work? Hey! There you are, Jakob. How's it going? It says I have an excellent connection. So that's great news. How we doing this evening? We're working on Botman. The, the situation as it stands right now is I'm trying to figure out exactly how much data I want to store for the user profiles. I can see chat, yes. Have you said things before now? Because that was the first... Yes, you sure have is the first thing I saw. Is there a delay? Maybe there's... Mm -hmm. It seems like there's a delay. Let me see if I can fix that. so much fun filling out tickets from this week since you were lazy and did not do that <laughs> you were at five hours for this week like five hours off or five hours of ticket work that you had to do or five hours of total work time for the week what what do you mean by that It does seem like there's a pretty substantial delay. Chat didn't exist for you for a while? That's weird. Hi Melody, how you doing? Welcome. It does seem like there's... Latency. We'll see if it's unbearable. Five hours of tickets so far submitted for working 24 hours. Lordy Lou. Well. God bless you. Good, good luck to you. Okay. What I am trying to do... I think we're just going to stick with... 
the simplest thing for now. I, but I already know how to do that. Because I have my file manager, and that already, like, writes and edits files. And I'm trying to think of what I need here. And what we basically need... So far, we know it's going to need to store... I guess a master name for each profile. So just profile name, right? And then it's going to need. It's Thursday, so it's actually 32 hours. Jakob, I'm worried for you. What 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 should I do? You repotted a little rose bush today. Their name is Arizona, and they've been looking sickly. Well, I hope it's doing better now. I know sometimes repotting can cause a little bit of a shock. So, hopefully it's recovering nicely. Profile... Okay, so we know we're going to need a profile name. Then... Th this is just kind of spitballing where I want it to go. They'd have a... Twitch user... Then I, I should write it out. I shouldn't. I shouldn't mince words here. Yeah. Username. Then we've got a. If they start growing strong by creative corner, it'll be a nice submission for resurgence. It absolutely would be. As you can see, I th that's what I've crammed into what used to be the music box. I know we're actually using the other music right now, but that's probably only going to be for these. Just because a lot of people will watch it as a recording, and so it'd be nice for it to have some music in it. Okay, so there'd be a Twitch username, there'd be, let's say, YouTube username, and a Discord username. Okay, and then would it necessarily have to be within each of those? I don't think so. You would have... Good luck with lame work stuff too. <laughs> um, okay, so we would have... Um, what's, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like when, when, not, not interactions, because that's the name of the file that has all of these function or all of these uh, data. Um, encounter, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay. So, oh, I guess I should use something different for those, but okay, so this is a string. Well, we'll use, I guess we'll use that to mark these so that it's different from the... These are all strings. You also need to set up a laptop that you've been pushing off. It's sitting next to you. You have a new guy starting Monday, and they ordered him a much nicer laptop, so you're swiping that. Bravo. Respect. But then you have to wipe your old laptop and set it up for him. So there's still work to be done. But... <laughs> hey, at least you get a fancy new laptop. Uh, encounters will be... Date time values. So does it need to be that complicated? It feels like it doesn't need to be that complicated. Because the way this will have to work, right, is at the bottom of it, it'll be a dictionary.
that is strings for the keys and then dictionaries for the values and then that dictionary would have strings for the keys and then date times for the values and that would that would only keep track of encounters I can't copy the whole line that way in notepad that's what that would create I don't really need to store that I, like this can be one date time value so then maybe we just store this as a string what if we do that I can't undo more than that stupid notepad um, what if we bring encounters back to here and then we store date time to string so this is still a string so that it can still work that way but then that only needs to be like that actually no because all of these would need to be the key for whatever piece of data you're looking for and this should be a list of strings because it's all of the encounters you've seen but all of these can't be lists of strings this is this is crumbly you have till Monday so you can do it Monday morning no problem you already told the new guy what a nice laptop they ordered him and that he's getting your old one <laughs> Melody agreed. Yeah, that's 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 a real way to make friends as as quickly as possible. <laughs> mm. Looks like there's about a 20 second delay. I can see it in the difference in the uh, creative corner countdown. That's actually kind of handy. Okay. So this is still going to need to be dictionary. And that one's going to be strings for the keys. And then list of strings for the values is that how that works this should this should really be a list of date time values but they all have to be the same converting them back and forth is super annoying though used to work with them before plus your boss told you way before you hired the guy that you're getting in the, you're getting the new laptop Oh, since you don't like yours. Well, I mean, it sounds like you're not really stealing anything then. My countdown is highly annoying. Would you like me to make it larger? Hold on. Here, let me help you with this. Wait. Just, just hold, hold steady there for a second. Mm -hmm. There we go. That should do the trick. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm improving it.
Oh well. I did it on the wrong one. Here. There's gonna be this. Now I'm sideways. This this didn't pan out in the way I intended at all. Anyway, we're gonna go back to what we're doing. Did I program it with skipping numbers randomly? No, I was hoping it was going to stop doing that. It's a lovely thing that um, Stream Elements is doing. I don't really know why. I'm, I'm assuming the... Well, it doesn't really make sense, right? Because the follower scroll, which is perfectly smooth. I mean, it's not like the highest frame rate in the world, but it's, you know, smooth easily high enough that there's at least one frame per second those are those are on the same source so I don't really understand how that happens you found a platypus for the first time and excitedly ran up to get a closer look when a crocodile charged up from the river and ate it in one bite <laughs> oh my god oh I gotta sneeze oh it passed trying to because <sighs> I need this to be a list I also need to think about how long I want that list to be because I don't want it to be too long dictionary of strings and behind each of those strings which which are the profile name so like just say melody for example then you'd have the twitch username which is melody maple moody then you'd have the youtube username which is moody and then you'd have the discord username which is melody moody and then you'd have encounters, and that cannot just be a, an ever-increasing string in order to keep a list inside of a string, because that's annoying as shit to dig from. So... Just set up a SQL database. <laughs> no, thank you. I've dealt with that before. I'd rather not. Um, <sighs> it's just that that doesn't fly. What if we did it this way instead? Can I can I change this to be Does it make more sense if I do a list of dictionaries? And then those dictionaries are string list of strings. That seems needlessly verbose. But does that let me do things? Because I, I want this to be expandable. I can handle having to store numbers as strings and shit like that. That's not really a big deal.
The Discord username should probably be user IDs. You think so? But the way I was thinking was that it would be... Um, because it would have to, I mean, it would, it, if it were checking to recognize you, right, it's going to check each of the three of these, so you kind of want them on the same level, so that's just performing the same action three times, but you swap out the word Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. And then the profile name is like what you ask it to call you. What language am I using? C Sharp. This is just Notepad, because I'm thinking. But it's a... Uh, it's a... Dot .net core program, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of pushing buttons. Because if, if we did this... Then it would be a profile name. Then it would be, you'd say, yeah. So it'd be profile name, and then you'd say whatever um, user ID. User IDs. Yeah, so this is your list. You got user IDs, uh, encounters. Let's let's say one more, for example, like interests. I don't know if we're gonna go to something like that. Ooh, how about how about feedings? Because we're gonna do the Tamagotchi thing, so let's start there as as a positive interaction. Since everyone has a user ID with a number after it, like your name on my server is technically a nickname, while your actual Discord is Young Moon Young Moody, number eight one three two. Oh 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 oh! I see. You mean that that's the one I should use for Discord, right? Yes, that makes sense. I'm I'm following you now, and and I absolutely agree. <laughs> I was I was not with you there for a moment. Okay, so then each of these are a dictionary, right? And then so inside of user IDs, you have it's it's Twitch, and then you know whatever we'll just write string. YouTube string. Uh, I'm frozen. Sorry. Discord string. I mean, are we, we're following how this is going, right? I think this makes sense. And then here you have. Oh wait, wait, wait! Did I do that right? It's a list of dictionaries. Because these can be list of one. That's that's fine. Oh, they can be list of one. I don't need to do any of this. That's why this felt stupid. Okay, so this just needs to be a dictionary of strings uh, or with string keys and uh, dictionary values, and then those dictionaries have string keys. And list of string values. So close that one, that one, and that one. That's what we're making. That's what we want. Right? Because this can be um, So we're we're not we're not doing that. We're doing this. So that's going to be a string, right? And 
And then this is going to be a dictionary. So you summon by the keys. Now this doesn't make sense at all. And then, it, oh, and then it ends up being basically what I was just describing. I hate that you can't do multiple undos. Okay, yeah, so that works out. So then, then that ends up with Twitch, YouTube, Discord. And that's, you know, whatever. String, string, string. And then encounters would have I guess it would be a because it doesn't really need to be a dictionary inside of here we just need a list but I guess if it's already going to be a dictionary, you might as well still split it up by source, right? And then it would just append, it would be the, uh, it would be a date time value to string for all of those. Right? And then it becomes a list of those. And then same would be here. Source and then Is there any reason not to do it that way? Is there something better I could use that information for? Maybe we use the list inside of the encounter. What if these are the date time dot to string and then these are lists of um, whatever, you know, yet, yet to be defined in counter data. That's a string. So that could be a good way to organize this. But I mean, there'll obviously be some kind of data about the encounters that we need to keep. And we can keep that as a list of strings. Something still feels wrong about organizing it that way, but I think a dictionary of it was string keys, dictionary, string list of strings. This arrangement is the way to go. At least that's that's kind of how I'm feeling. Uh oh. Let me make sure. Alrighty. Looked like I was dropping frames there for a second. Let me know if I'm choppy. Okay. Alright, so this is what I'm going for. And so, in my file manager, I the closest thing to that is these list dictionaries. Yeah. Which is keys, key strings, and list values. But we need to make a whole new 
thing. So... What we want to copy is write list dict <laughs> entry. And uh, I basically want to copy everything that's inside of here. And then we're going to tweak it to serve our purposes over here. I want this to function separately from the file manager, although I do have that up here right now. Just because I don't have this type of file in my file manager, and it's a really specific type of file um, that is mostly just for this. So I'm going to keep it isolated into this, and then if I find that I have another use for it, I'll deal with that when it happens. Oh, I don't have the JSON whatever in here. Do I need IO also? I think I need IO also. It doesn't seem like I need threading in here. I'll also get rid of Windows. I still think File Manager might end up being useful, but we'll see. So we're going to say, what are, what are all of the things we have? Uh, what are all of our arguments here for this one? We want all of these. File name, key, value, subfolder. And then we're actually going to default some of these. location oh yeah yeah uh, just in order to do this I think I want to force this directly over to because anything in anything in this one is going to be using the interactions files. So interactions and that is our home. So we don't have to do subfolder. We can ditch that. Location exists, but okay, so we don't need subfolder. You know what? You know what? No, I'm gonna leave that because maybe we'll add subfolders inside of interaction, so I'm just gonna not get rid of that. Um This shouldn't even be a thing anymore. What would I need the reversed dictionary for? That was, that was an old thing that I was doing that I fixed a long time ago.
That's what we're saying if the key doesn't exist. Because this is this is to add anyway, so we're just gonna get rid of any gobbledygook we don't need. We can copy it over again for a more complicated version of this function later. Right now, I just need to get the basics. Did I eat anything good today? Um, actually, yes, I did. Uh, there's this place that I've really been digging that has excellent. Uh, bacon egg and cheese bagel sandwiches that I had one of those for breakfast this morning and it was choice what about you anything good any any happy flavors grace your palate use of unassigned local variable output how do you figure Oh, I guess because this is an else. Yeah, I need to take that out of the brackets. I'm trying to figure out what would be a fun prompt for a uh, creative corner next week. I had I had had resurgence in mind for the first one back because that just makes sense you know um but i'm not i'm not sure exactly where i want to go next we'll see i have a few ideas i don't want to spoil it write updated dictionary to jason Undo special chili cheese dogs from a place called Coney Island. Very nice. And some modified rice aroni. How'd you modify the rice aroni? What did you do to it? Okay, so. What I'll do is highlight all that. Nope, I guess not. Alright, so this is where we want to make it match what I had before. So it's a dictionary with strings for the keys. And then for the value, it's another dictionary. Let me just make sure I can do that. I can, okay. It's another dictionary with strings for the keys, and then lists of strings for the values. There we go. Okay, so that is the type of data that we're making. And then we want to replace the other one wherever it lie. Four cheese flavor rice aroni with a chicken broth instead of water. And some chicken breast diced up. Ooh, some chicken breast diced up in later while, uh, while you're cooking. Makes a bit more of a meal than a side without a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, my mom used to do that for us all the time. We'd have uh, just fixed up rice aroni. It's a good meal. It's tasty. Filling. That's the same type of data file now. You shouldn't be angry at me. Unless that's supposed to be in parentheses. Which it is. That's why you're angry. Come on, be happy. Why are you mad? What? What's... I don't understand. Oh. This should be that. Uh, one, two, 
two, three, four. There we go. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. When I'm looking for a quick and dirty meal like that, uh, we usually make chicken fried rice. That's pretty tasty. So the value can't be that. So then if we're trying to add a user, I guess for starters it would assume the profile name is the same as whatever username it's pulling in. I don't think we need this target variable because that just doesn't, it's not going to be valuable. The, the idea was that somebody could add somebody else as a user, but this is something that's supposed to happen automatically anyway. We are, we're only having it as a manual command for testing reasons. Fried rice takes twice as long since you have to cook the rice twice. Yes, it does. But usually we use... Um, yesterday's rice yesterday's rice out of the fridge it's better for fried rice anyway than key we will use username for that and then the value is I mean the value should now be a dictionary of strings Yeah, dictionary of strings with values that are lists of strings. And what we're trying to pull in here is a username, but it should probably create a blank user profile, which means all of the dictionaries should be titled automatically. So here's what I think is the right way to do this. So I'm going to go to this, which is in our, our file tree for the application. So this is interactions. This is where it will go. And then it'll be looking for the user's file. Um, in this case, I'm just going to default this to uh, users should be users dot json. Anything you're putting in fried rice tastes better when you set it aside for a few days. Yes, yes, it does. It's the magic of fried rice. That's what it's for. What happened here? Oh, optionals must appear after all required. Okay.
But we don't actually need the value one either, so we'll get rid of that. I could really go for some good fried rice. I haven't had that in a little bit. Sounds tasty. I could, I could fry some rice. I just got the, uh, the kitchen finished up, pretty much. Not, not pretty much, it's done. I, I have a couple of things I need to get to stock up the kitchen. But putting things away is done. It'll be reorganized as things go, but that's kind of, you know, that's what moving into a new place is. Making you hungry. It's what I. It's what I do. The, the, my my entire channel is an elaborate advertisement for Wendy's. We we've been through this a million times. My my purpose in life is to make people hungry, so that they eventually go and purpose purchase Wendy's. And beyond that, I don't actually exist on any sort of physical plane. Time to pivot to a cooking stream. Soon enough, I'll be able to do that. The kitchen is straight out that door. So, everything is perfect for that. You're working from home tomorrow, so you can't go to the all-you-can-eat sushi place that's by your work. That is tragic. But, if you're working at home tomorrow, that means you can be there for the stream. So, you know, everything works out fine in the end. Tomorrow's gonna be some games. I don't know what I haven't decided. Although, all-you-can-eat sushi does sound pretty good, I have to say. Okay. When is the stream again? Uh, is tomorrow's stream at 5? It's 5, right? Four. Four to nine. Four to nine. Knew that all along. Is that why you're taking tomorrow afternoon off? I mean, it can be. But it also could be so that you can prepare to get as far away from me as possible. That would also be understandable. All you can eat sushi is a very American idea. It is. It is. We we brought our trademarked style to it. <laughs> okay. So what we want to do here So, yeah, okay, okay, so here's what we want. We, we need to create a default user, and this is what will be copied. So, we have name, default, or, or how about template? Nobody can name themselves template. That's, that's off limits for now. A dish built entirely based on precision and skill, but churned out... In, wait, did I read these out of order? It's like 15 and they bring you little menus and you mark on there what you want and they bring it back to your table, including hibachi, fried rice, appetizers, soups, and salads. Oh, that's like a normal sushi place. Dish built entirely based on precision and skill, but churned out in almost manufactured way for masses who largely prefer bland and brown as their palate. Yeah, I, I mean, I, you, gotta, you gotta be honest, like... That, that sushi setup is pretty solid. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the fill out the paper 
receive gluttony. It's it's a good system for me. I'm comfortable with it. Okay, this is our template. And then inside of the template... Wait, I need to... I need to have another JSON file open so I can look at the arrangement here. Let's do... Where's the safe data? Uh, quote list would be a good place to look. No, no, we want responses. Let's look at the say command responses. Okay, okay. So I'm doing it right. So what I want is template, and then that is this, this is now another dictionary, which is what that means. And that dictionary has a string as its title. Uh, hold on, let's just get this sorted out. So it's string. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed here. After we get this laid out, it'll make more sense to me. But right now, my brain hurty. Okay, and then this should be a list of strings which goes inside that. And then you've got string, string, okay? And then in this arrangement, this would be like, um, ooh. Here's an idea. What if I store it this way? What, what if we do... What if we do do what I said before? We have user IDs. And then in here we have strings that are... Um, template. And then we say at Twitch. And I can, I can check those for the at at the end really easily. Template at YouTube. And then we have... Uh, I, I want to make one more silly one. Hold on. Template. Template. <laughs> I'm, I'm, ha I'm having fun with it, okay? Um, I guess that does have the numbers at the end of it. What'd you say is with the pound sign? Right? Yeah. So it should be pound. Also, you eat the fancy sushi, like a California roll, or anything else that does not actually contain raw fish. Hey, California rolls are tasty. The sushi, they are not, arguably. But they are tasty. So we don't even support all these username types right now. But our, our data architecture, I don't know what the right word would be, uh, does, does support it. So it's a little bit future-proofed. Uh, so this is template user. And I think I am allowed to indent these and it'll still function. But I'm not going to. Actually, why, why don't we? Because I, I really do think that I can. Mind. I think 
that's going to end up being more confusing than anything else. Um, okay, so we've got that. And then after user IDs, we have, what was our other one? Uh, we have encounters. So this is how many times, or, or, or all of the times that it's run into the player. We'll set up some kind of algorithm to erase those as they get older so that it doesn't have to hold all of this in memory. But I, I, I have some ideas for that that I've written down that I'll worry about after I get the basics going. So, encounters, also a list, oops, a list of strings. But we that that actually should be empty by default, so we'll just leave that. Even like with, because I could do that, but then we have an empty item for the first item on the list, and I don't want to do that, so we'll leave that the way it is. Okay. So far, so far, so good, I think. You know, we'll find out when I try to run this if I screwed something up. This is kind of all we need for our starting data. And I think I am, I'm, we're just going to simplify this down as much as we can just to get the best possible chance of this working. Okay. So we have that, and then basically what we want it to do is it defaulted to the users.json file, except that should be lowercase, so it's not going to find it if I have it like that. Users. The whole family template, template, and template. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrapped up in what I was doing. I didn't process that the first time I read it. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. So, string profile name, because we're just going to force it to have all of the correct data right now. So, so that becomes profile name. And then. that entry. So, you know, I guess I did need to keep this stuff. I'm just 
trying to think about the best way to actually write this data in, right? Because we have it, we have it stored in there. I don't want to make every user a separate JSON file. That seems like a bad idea. That seems like it's going to get really cluttered really fast. So making that, but then again, having it search through an, a JSON file of everybody's name might be slower. Like if the one file gets really big, that might end up being even slower. You're gonna learn at some point that I disabled Lush Caves as a cruel joke. I did not. I definitely did not do that. <laughs> I swear I saw one. You're welcome to run around in my mines and see if you come across one. Um... So then we want to say dictionary string list string um, and we'll call that what sample or template equals uh, dict and then we're looking for template user is that what we named them? template user okay What if you make one file that has the pointers to which file the actual info is in and then auto split the actual info files info files after x users That's probably the right way to do this. Remind me of that. We'll come back to that. For now I just want to see if I can get this thing actually properly saving the information. But that, that sounds like you're probably right about that. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. And then I basically want to say for... Isn't that a for each? Isn't that what I want to do? No? Uh, value match. Another approach is to have files by first letter of the name, so you have 27 smaller files. That is also a good idea. And then Moody will fill up half the files due to never-ending changes in username. I feel like that's more appropriately targeted at numbers. Although you shouldn't speak ill of those who aren't around. <laughs> I mean, Melody changed usernames one time. Right? And they'll be somewhat user friendly for me just keeping track of the 27 files 27 26 is there another letter I'm not aware of did we add one is this like Pluto in reverse or do you mean 
the pointer file counts as one. Is that what you mean? That's probably what you mean. I, I definitely have a for each somewhere. Where does it live? There we go. For each key value pair. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was, it was just the one time. Numbers has changed names quite a few times. The 27th is numbers. Oh, oh, right. No? Why do you not want me to do that? Oh, because it's not in parentheses, you dumb shit. Each key value pair. Uh, string. List. String. Oh, and then we gotta we gotta name it. Um, just picking since she recently did that. Well, you know, Jakob, we don't we don't allow picking here. This is a picking free zone, and I'd appreciate it if you'd respect that. No picking. Just 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 get it together, okay? <laughs> Shape up. Do better. Um, yeah, I guess we could just call it key value pair. Uh, what's the, what's the term, like... For a, for a data point you're tracking. What's the word I'm looking for? Parameter. Right? Is parameter the word I'm looking for? I think so. Yeah, variable works. But it's like, it's like each, uh... It almost, it's like... It's similar to vector. Not necessarily similar in, like, sound, but in, like, connotation. If it gets to be that big of an issue, the pointer file itself would start being problematic too. Yeah. To the point where it'd be easier for it to just search. each key value pair in temp <clears throat> we basically want to say
if oh if parameter dot key If parameter.key is equal to user IDs, You should now start future proofing the build and spin a couple of VMs to run a SQL cluster so no changes later on are needed. Yeah, I just gotta be ready for, you know, like, you know, hundreds of thousands of users all at the same time. We gotta be, we gotta be prepared. <laughs> you never know, this could take off really fast and I gotta be ready for it. <laughs> just hire a team of you to start managing my databases now. Yeah, you're right, but better safe than sorry. Let's just, let's get this show on the road. I mean, come on. It's it's time already. It's 2023. Let's go. Let's get the UE business up and running. UE Botman Incorporated. Why can't I remember how to do a regular for statement? I always have to just click back and look at other shit that I've done to remember how to do anything. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we need to say... For what int equals i? No, it, I already screwed that up, didn't I? No, int i equals zero. Yeah, int i equals zero. That's what I'm saying. I'm just bumping around in the world here. Uh, while i is less than. Parameter uh, user IDs dot count. That should be a list. Does that not work? All right, maybe we have to. Strings IDs equals parameter Is that not right? Oh
I'm, I'm having trouble here. All right, Iagum. You have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see you. Let me see here. So... Something I'm saying here is wrong, and it's not just that I forgot that. The key value pair is parameter. Oh, but that's the current one we're on. So I don't need to specify it like that. I just need to say it's parameter dot key. That's what I'm doing wrong. So parameter dot key dot count. No, still wrong. Still wrong. Oh no, because it should be the value. Value.count. Okay, now you should definitely be happy. Because the value is going to be a list of strings. So what if we say a list... We're going we're to try this again anyway. String... IDs equals parameter dot value IDs dot count. It's annoying that you make me do that. I should be able to do that all at once, but whatever. Still wrong? Oh, yes, because they're supposed to be semicolons. God, God damn it. There we go. Now we're happy. Okay. And you're sure I can't just do that? This seems like it should be possible. Okay, it is. It was just because I had the other syntax wrong. That's good. Okay, that makes more sense. We don't have an extra line for no reason. Okay, let me say if I is equal to, or no, now we want to check got it. So you know how we didn't have all of these in here? We're gonna have all of them in here. Because the part that I want to implement here is the search. Um, we basically want to look at the parameter and we want to say find the at sign and then trim from there. I know I have I have something that uses that in here also. To uh, trim the user data. Here we go. In fact, I probably have a simpler version of it here. Whatever, we'll use this. Yeah, so this is what we want. I want to take that. Let's just take this whole block actually. And we want to say uh, index parse sign. And we want.
want to index the at symbol. So we're we're reading that parameter or the the value and then we're finding the at sign And we want to say that the username is, or not the username, the uh, source so far and then the substring it's going to start at the parse sign right or maybe it's gonna start at the parse sign plus one have to have a specified length I thought I could do it without a specified length index parse sign plus one and then it should just run to the end I think yeah if I don't specify the length that's what I thought Okay, I'm not crazy. Continues to the end of the string. So then that'll pull that. And then we just want to say if source is equal to um, Twitch. Then we want to now. Now we want to replace that value. it say parameter dot value I equals and then we have
it's going to be username. Oh, so it's got to be a string dot format. And then we say uh, item zero. And we just want to say uh, at Twitch. And then that is the username. So that's how it sets it if it finds the right one. And then we'll need it to do the same for the the title of the entry also. This is really making me struggle. So what I need to do is the amount that the one that we've defined right here as template user, that value needs to be edited to say whatever we've decided the profile name is. No, that's not what I have to do because that's not currently in use, right? We're not using this name. Right now the name we're using is temp and that's just a hold while we edit the internal values, which is what we do here. And then after that's done, we need to make the outputting, like the, 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 the dictionary that it outputs at the end And then that dictionary needs to be saved. Yeah. So then we do dict.add profile name, and then down here we add temp. And that's what goes in that slot. Okay. And then we want to say successfully added, and then. Why did I do it this way? This is this is the ugly way to do it. We're gonna we're gonna change this to a string dot format because it's bothering me. String dot format. Successfully added. User. And then uh, profile name. That needs another parentheses there. And then it should write it to that file location. And that should do it. So this is just a basic test. Um, but then when we go over here where it's being used, it needs the username. I need to switch these.
So the message dot substring here is just so that it'll take the message I say and make that the chosen name and then the username is the one that it'll use for Twitch because it's coming from Twitch. Although I don't think we're actually going to do it through Twitch because I don't have to boot it up to run anymore. We're just going to make sure this works. Uh, it already gives messages a default username. If it comes from... It'll just make the username Austin and the source is local rather than Twitch. But we're not using that source data right now. So that's okay. Um, for, for this basic test, just to make sure that it's saving the data correctly we can just run it. So if we go to, oh yeah, this file right here, we go interactions, users. So it's got that template user in there. And then what we should see is a comma after that bracket and then another user underneath, maybe not necessarily aligned correctly, but I think it might be, that will be named uh, whatever I call it. I think I'll go with unenlightened and then the user ID should be Austin at Twitch and then the rest of that should be the same. That's that's what should happen when I run this test. If it even boots, there might be something wrong. Oh, I feel like we missed something. No? Nope, we're good. We're happy. We're happy. It's booting. Okay, so, first of all, let's just make sure it's awake. Okay. And then we want to say, add me, unenlightened. That should work. Did 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 it did it work? It doesn't feel like it said something. Display Oh boy. Okay, let's close that. And first things first, let's check and see if the data was edited. It was not. Okay. So we have a few things to check here. Let's see. Call my code Vincent because we happy. I'm sorry, your 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 uh, reference is once again lost on me. <laughs> um, what is happening here? Is it displeased? Let's just make sure the other ones are working. Just add me, right? That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. And the output 
which should be That's the thing, even if this wasn't working, like it's not flagging an error, but it's also not passing this output through, which is really weird. Because that output, right, should be going to here. And then that should be in my response display, which is this window down here where it gives me the time when I say get time. Or if I say, um, what is it, is it get name, my name? Yeah, it says Austin, so it has, it has the name information. Five, six, seven. That should be seven, to be fair. So then it's supposed to pull down the users folder. And then it's supposed to make a dictionary or a, a temporary dictionary of just the template user. That all looks right so far. Unless that data is entered wrong, I suppose. But it should be throwing me an error if it can't read anything. That's that's what's confusing me. And even if this is false and it's just passing through, this should still be going into the output because it returns the output no matter what. Like, if I took everything in the middle here out, uh... Oh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you, it just, it just went over my head. <laughs> Sorry, Melody. Um, okay, so yeah, if I take everything out up until that point, this should still run just fine and just spit that output out. Like, with, with zero issues. If I were to just say... Add me... Austin. So that's that's weird. That's really weird. And diagnostic is checked, right? Yes. Oh, the message, oh, dummy, 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 dummy. I know what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I saw it. Looked past it a few times, saw it this time. This needs to say dot starts with because we are having extra information. So then we save, then we save this. Then we cancel and run again. And then if I say add me unenlightened, successfully added user unenlightened. Okay, and then we go and try to look at the data. 
And then we go and try to... Ah, damn it. We look at the... Look at the... Look at the... Data. Would you look at that? Uh-oh. It seems to have done it to both of them. Not quite what we were looking for. Not quite what we were looking for, but awfully close. Okay, so then why is it changing that? Because theoretically it shouldn't be. Coding streams are interesting because I always run into problems where you start to consider if you should actually read my code and look for a solution for me. Well, I hope that's I hope that's entertaining for you. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm always open to uh, suggestions if you if you notice anything. I end up finding something to work right when you're about to take the plunge and you can tune out again. It's perfect. It's just enough. It's just enough to keep you right on a razor's edge. It's my goal, Melody. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's think here, huh? So it did. It did go slightly wrong. So let's see what we're doing. We're pulling down the dictionary and storing it in a temporary variable that we are calling I can say that I have so far never actually read your code <laughs> that's good though right that means that I f that, that means I always figure it out So, it's pulling down that dictionary of string dictionary of string list of strings. It's copying the mega dictionary into a variable that it's calling dict. Then it's looking at that variable dict and it's pulling out the template user and saving that to a variable called temp. Then we're looking through the variable called temp and looking at the key value pairs. It doesn't feel like it should be editing the actual template user to me. This is this is confusing. It, it feels like I'm not exactly understanding how it juggles these variables and that's not good. Because what it feels like is when I'm working with temp here, the one that I'm creating that's just this part of the dictionary. It's the internal dictionary. It's, it's this one that is named template user, right? That's what we've pulled down, that's what temp is is its template users user profile but it's a copy of that it's it shouldn't be the real thing that's 
That's pulling it into memory. Basically. Oh, but it's not. Because I'm writing it into parameter.value, not temp.value. No, parameter is in temp. That should be in temp. And then we add a new entry, which is named profile name. And the data that populates it is the data in temp. From everything I can see, that should work correctly. Just confirm that that's happening the way I think it's happening. So I look at the data. The data just has the template user. Then I go here. I say add me potato man. And it adds user potato man. Yeah. And it still says Austin dot twitch there. Or Austin at twitch there. And then it, do it does successfully create potato man. Like that part works. It creates Potato Man. Potato Man has the right information in it also. You are confusing me, Botman. This doesn't work the way I think it works. What if I just take this line out? We won't do, because if I, if I take this line out, which is the one where I write the new profile, we will find out if somehow this is changing the actual dictionary. It'll, that'll give me that information. So we take that line out for a second. We clear the data again. And then we run the bot. And I say, add me buttercup. And then we go back to the data. And it is editing it that early. Oh, wait, no, I didn't change it this time. Try it again. Add me potato. Okay, it is. It changed it back again. So, if it's doing it that early. fucked up the data here somehow.
You also always hate reading people's code since most everyone has their own handwriting of sorts and how they format stuff. And we're often pretty messy in personal projects. Yeah, I'm sure my code is super frustrating to look at. There's also the fact that I'm not really formally trained in any way, shape, or form. So I'm kind of just bumping around the world. So it would be writing it, I mean, along with this. But that means that dict is being edited by our actions here. That is certainly what that means. Um, But yeah, Melody, I do, I do definitely get it. I, I even see it, like, even not knowing very much, um, I'll look at people's code when I'm trying to, like, just look for solutions online and stuff like that. And I, I will find myself frustrated, even though I don't really know what I'm talking about. That's all coding. Bumping around and referencing other people's works and materials and pa passing it off on your as your own since you typed it. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I guess technically I am a coder. I mean, I, I made this whole thing. And it works pretty well. Okay, well, I mean... There is potentially another way I could do this. Because if I pull this line, right, if, if I take the line that we have here and I put it right here as soon as we make temp. If you want to try a really wild experience, try asking ChatGPT for a block of code in the language I want and see the format it goes with for max efficiency. Yeah, well, and I mean, it's also just flat out wrong if you ask it a complicated enough question. ChatGPT is really cool, but it is, I mean, it's still just guessing. That's the, the, having that thing running search engines and stuff like that is really concerning to me just from a like information standpoint seems seems bad okay and then basically I want to run that line again but this time, profile name. Oh, but I don't. I don't need to redefine it. That's right. So we just do temp equals dict of profile name. Then it does all of this again, and that I think will work. It bothers me because I don't think it should be doing that, but this should solve the problem if what I think is happening is what's happening. So let's find out together. I really wanted to incorporate GPT-3 into Botman, but with, and I'm like, I'm on their wait list for, um, you know, like development kit for GPT-3, but 
I'm never gonna get picked now. I mean, now that ChatGPT has exploded the way that it is. Okay, cross your fingers. How did it still fucking do that? Okay, so that means I'm even wronger. <laughs> so that's not good. I, we're, we're close to what I'm trying to do here, but this is why I didn't go too far down the rabbit hole before we even got this part working. Every once in a while I pay enough mind to not dig myself a hole. Um, okay, so then why is it doing that? It's a weird loop in logic for you trying to figure out how AI are replacing all mundane info jobs when they get their data based on stuff posted by humans. So they'd be referencing other AI posts. Yeah, after a while you'd think it would create some kind of feedback loop. That's a good point. It's kind of inevitable. I wonder how that plays out. That's a good question, Melly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Then it's just some kind of unchecked loop where nothing can be sourced anymore. Yeah, because it all sort like it just sources back in a circle. Yeah, that's bad. That, that's that's definitely bad. Something about the way that I'm writing the data. Wait a minute. No, it did. It's it's still Austin at Twitch down here also. Okay, so that I, I wanted to make sure That it was still doing what I thought it was doing. <sighs> that seems weird, right? Because changing something in temp shouldn't edit something in dict. 
And so if our for each is iterating through the key value pairs in temp, and then it's checking This seems really weird. Some, something here is not right. Something I'm doing is wrong. It's pulling... If I do this, I'm going to take this line again and put it here. Up before that. And then we are not going to do any of this. And then it's going to write it again. So if I'm understanding it correctly, it should make a new profile. That will still have the template usernames for everything. That's what should happen here. Come on. Oh, Jesus. What is, what is this now? Okay, I'm going to grab some water while I give that a second to see if it catches up. Be right back. Got jumped by a tiger 30,000 blocks away from home. Got teleported back home with one heart. And you're not sure if it's the one in your human chest anymore. <laughs> well, I'm glad you survived. At least virtually. did do what I thought it would do. It added the name Unenlightened 
with all of the template information. So that's that's a good start. Okay. Okay, this is officially really weird. There's an update for Backpack Hero coming soon with Twitch integration, really? Oh, that sounds like fun. Do you know what it's going to do? I definitely want to play some more Backpack Hero. I'm probably going to do that at some point tomorrow. What if I just switch this to rather than temp? In fact, what if I just do this all together? Um, let's let's not completely destroy this right now, actually, so that I don't fuck myself later. Uh, and then we're gonna say this is dict. This is going to be dict uh, profile name. Okay, now let's see if that does the trick. They haven't made a whole post about Twitch yet, but the one thing they mentioned in the recent general update was that there would be a system where chat can pick an item you have to take or leave behind. That sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, let's make sure our data is wiped, which it is. And then we want to say... User unenlightened. What the fuck? How? What? Why? Why would it do that? I don't understand. It should only ever be iterating. Like, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be touching that at all. Why is it touching the other profile? That is really confusing. Okay, so now now we need to really get granular with this. Let's let's figure out what the Sam fuck is going on here. So it's going to iterate through 
the items in just in dict of profile name. So that's the master dictionary. And then profile name would be the key for that one, which should, in theory, take you to this profile. Which means you should only be dealing with things inside of these braces. But for some reason it's escaping those braces. So one thing at a time we're going to figure out where it's leaking. So for key value pair... We just want to say uh, parameter dot value dot add. And we just want to say spud. Okay. And then we're going to find out if it is iterating through everything or if it's iterating through the things it's supposed to iterate through. And I have a feeling what we're going to find out here is that it's iterating through everything, which it really shouldn't be. Add me balls. It is iterating through everything. So it added spud to the end of this list and then it added spud to the end of that list, and then this list, and then that list. So it is. It's iterating through everything right out of the gate. Why is it doing that? Why, why would it iterate through everything? So it's already going wrong right here. What if I'd never, what if I just never invoke template user at all? We just get rid of it and instead we just new uh, new dictionary string list string. What does it want for me here? Oh, the new expression needs to be in parentheses. Is, what is happening here? Maybe. 
maybe I need to It's still mad at me. No, so that, that time with the parentheses it was happy. And then we can just say this is test. And then it should accept that because it's the right kind of data, right? Just put the parentheses there. I swear that this is what I tried to put here. I was missing a parenthesis. That's aggravating, but fine. Okay, so this time I'm not invoking the name of the other one at all. We don't touch this. It's supposed to just make a new empty profile. But I have a feeling it's still going to say spud. That just doesn't make any sense at all. Hold on. That that can't be. Uh, that that just can't be. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it just it just adds potato because we didn't invoke anything else. Realized the bottom of the fountain didn't get copied over on your farmer's market build. Oh, I can fix that. I still have the originals. Yes, you're telling me that has that and it doesn't append spud to anything. If I run this, it still tries to iterate. And it does not append spud to anything. It doesn't. This is even more confusing. Okay. So somehow the way I'm invoking it is wrong. It's it's the way I'm invoking it.
minutes and you just want to say file name equals and then if I do that all of a sudden we're gonna end up with spud everywhere again Spot everywhere again. What in the fuck? What a weird bug. So, what am I doing wrong here? Because that means. It doesn't seem like it should be right. Because what it feels like is happening here is like I have two variables, right? I have x and y. And I say x equals 5. And then I say y equals x. And then I say y equals y plus 5 and then what I'm coming out with is x and y both equal 10 and that doesn't make sense why why would it do that y should equal 10, x shouldn't be changed by that process. So like if I have the list or the, the dictionary of user profiles and I pull that down to a variable and then from that variable I make a new variable that is one of the values that that is equivalent to one of the values from that dictionary and then I copy that value over to another profile it should be copied not like tethered but for some reason it's going through everything as soon as I invoke template user the for each starts iterating through everything. Which doesn't make sense. Because first of all, I mean, that, that means that if there, the more users there are, the longer it'll take it to do anything. Because it iterates through the whole file rather than just being able to make a list a separate list out of the individual user profile that it can then iterate through what the fuck how did this happen i don't i don't understand how that could occur This one is hurting my noggin a little bit. 
This was more complicated than I was expecting it to be. Add profile name. Just... Because this right here, what I was doing originally, this should be a new variable. It should be completely independent of the other dictionary. like I don't understand setting one variable equal to another doesn't tether them together that's not how that works so why why is this a problem Gonna change that to temp. We're gonna stop that from editing that. And it's going to just iterate through temp. doing that because this the dictionary that's being pulled down is this entire file that's what dict is it's a duplicate of this but we should consider it actually this 
because exactly whatever that ends up being is what's written back to this file at the end of the day. So, <clears throat> for all intents and purposes, dict is this file. Okay? And then we go down and say, there's a new variable. It's called temp. And it's equivalent, it's just, it's equivalent to dict of template user. So this is template user. So you would say it's equivalent to that. Hold on. time yeah, so it does it still spuds it spuds everything even though in this case I If I were to do that, <sighs> okay, we're going to try and do this. Making it real hard not to jump into my code. I, I hear you. Setting a dictionary value equal to another dictionary value makes them reference the same value instead of copying the contents. That is the information that I needed. So I can't do this by iterating through. That, that is helpful. Thank you, Melody. That, that explains the weird behavior. I didn't know that it did that. And that, that was kind of the conclusion I was coming to. But I'd never heard of that being a thing, so I thought I was going fucking crazy. Okay. So... We cannot set a dictionary equal to another dictionary. Is there a way to force it to copy the contents? I assume I can't do that. Like, I, I would like it to copy the contents. So that, that, that essentially, that definitely means that that Iterating method doesn't work. Because what I want to do is I want to take one of those, I want to take the blank profile and copy its contents over to the new profile without having them associated with one another. I mean, they're both stored in the same master dictionary. But...
This is C sharp, yes. What I essentially want to do is I have this dictionary that contain like so the that the largest level the top level dictionary has strings for keys and dictionaries for values that second level dictionary has strings for keys and lists of strings for values. And what I'm trying to do, when I'm making a new dictionary, you can reference the contents of a previously defined one inside its construction arguments. Okay. I think I understand what you mean. So, So does that mean that I'd be doing that here? It feels like I'd be doing that there. Another option that might make more sense intuitively is if is I could do a for each loop for each string keys in the first dictionary and then add those keys to a new one. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so I either so, some way or another. It, it, if that if I do that method I have to go through it one by one this seems like it might be what you were trying to say to me or what I'm sorry I'm sure you said it fine but what I'm trying to understand um, if this works it might have the right information so let's see if that did it, first of all, I need to make sure this is blank so that I don't trick myself. Okay, that is blank. And then add me unenly. Okay, that did do that part correctly. Now we've already achieved this part. Let's see if we can make it do the other part. So referencing it like that, then does my for each loop still treat it like they're associated or does it treat it like they're separate now? Wait, hold on. 
clear? Okay, I did clear. Add me spud. Okay, so it 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 still did it. Still going through both of them. So I'll have to do the other thing you said and just go through the whole thing and copy each of those over. That. That's really weird that you have to do that. So that means I need to create it blank, right? So it doesn't have anything in it. We need to not invoke template user at all. And basically want to say For each key value pair in So for each one in template user, if the key is user IDs, I'm struggling with this one. I mean, that's the game, but... So, so we want to iterate through each parameter in template user. And then we just want to say, let's just say param dot key or dot, dot value dot add. Bud, just to make sure it's doing that correctly. So, add me, oh, test. And yes, so it added Spud to both of those and then it created test. Okay. So then we want to say
to the profile name dot add parameter That was just dumb. Oh, do I have to? I have to do it like this. Parameter key, parameter value. Now you're happy? Yep, okay. So that should iterate through and add it. So this should be another way to end up with the same values there. The spud is just muddling things up now. Hold on. I shouldn't I shouldn't still have the spud in there. And it also seems to be adding a space. Gonna be it's gotta be eight. That's where that extra space was coming from, and then we say no spud. So that looks like it was working. Melody, you may have you may have saved me here. I think you did. Okay, that's good. We added. Okay. Take that and put it into an else statement under this. So unless unless it meets these qualifications, oh, but it needs to needs to meet both of these. I guess I could just, uh, to make sure it's working, just put that there also. And then, this should be,
here. In this case we want to add Good morning. Have we crossed the line? Oh we have indeed. Oh, well, we'll, we'll uh, shut down pretty soon here but let's see if this worked. Um, except we're adding temp. key comma temp right because the value should be the list all right this is the final attempt for tonight if this doesn't work I will revisit it tomorrow and let you know what I find uh, let's make sure we've wiped the data which we did Come on, cross your fingers for a good way to end the night. Add me test. Melody, you're a genius. Oh my god. Okay, we got it. We got it. That could use some fine tuning to make it a little more, you know, tolerable for uh, new data as it comes in. But the point is. It successfully adds the new profile with the name specified, with the Twitch account added automatically, separate from the template user. So that's great. All I need to do in order to have people be added with more template data is update the template user. That's all I have to do. 
And that was kind of the goal here. I didn't want to have that hard coated. Okay. Thank you, Melody. I appreciate your help. Um, that was a big, 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 big glaring piece of information that I did not know. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get some sleep after my, uh, my brain winds down. You know me well. I'll need some time. But that's really good news. Okay, so we are successfully adding a user. All right. Well, I'm going to say goodnight for tonight. Thanks for hanging out. It's been a blast as always. Uh, if you're watching the VOD, you can join on Patreon to watch these a week earlier in real time when they happen. Uh, and you can, you know, follow over on Twitch at unenlightened underscore live. I'm going to start trying to do that self-promotion stuff more. But yeah. <laughs> All right. Night, Melody. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.